Hello, and guess what? We're back for another week. And this week we are talking about one very in particular thing, and that is the process of choosing university and what it's like to go through that process. So I am going to tell you about my experience, what it was like, how I felt at the time, and what I really had to go through in order to be where I am now. Spoiler alert, everything works out in the end. So if we go back in time a whole five years, we would join me in my first year of my music college course. I studied a BTEC diploma and I had actually already finished a BTEC in art. And after realizing that that wasn't what I wanted to do, me and a few of my friends from art made a band and we wanted to make music. So it was a whole big thing where we wanted to be in a band, we wanted our music to be well known and big, we wanted to be famous. And you know there was a time where we actually thought it was possible. Then we started the music course and though it may sound a little bit bleak, we realised that it wasn't as easy as it would be in our heads. There was a lot more business to music than pleasure, and if you wanted to make it big, you really had to get on top of all of that. Now this wasn't necessarily a problem for me, but about halfway through the first year, right around this time now, my friend and the singer of our band came to me with some news. Now he was always the more artistic one out of any of us, and he was actually a very talented drawer. And as you can probably guess, he had decided to go back to art. He would do a foundation level course taking only one more year and then he would go on to university a year before I would finish my college course. Now with all of you out there with great detective skills you can probably now guess where I found out about Huddersfield. Yes, when my friend went to university, when I had one year left at college, he came to Huddersfield. Now at the time I hadn't even heard of Huddersfield. See, I'm from Chester, and we're surrounded by places like Liverpool and Manchester that have universities, so they were actually the first ones that came to my mind. And at this time, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to go to university. But with my friend being gone and our band being dispersed, I had to choose something else. I had to have a reason to go on. I needed something to work towards. So at that time, I said I wanted to be a music teacher because I thought I would enjoy it. And you know, that does kind of still exist today. So just before I started making my choices for university, I went to visit my friend at Huddersfield. And even though I was only there for the weekend, it was one of the best weekends of my entire life. I got to experience life independently, to live in a place on my own or with my friends. And I got to do the things that I wanted to do and realise that I could find a place like Huddersfield where I could be free to learn what I wanted to learn and to have all of those experiences as an independent adult. Well, semi-adult. While I was in Huddersfield over the weekend, I looked on the website, saw that they had a music course, and placed that as my first choice for my university list. And as you can guess, I was accepted into Huddersfield, and I have never looked back. I feel completely satisfied in the knowledge that I really made the right choice. And the whole process of going through UCAS was actually quite simple. And of course your parents can always be there to help you out with some information that you might need from them. And as far as the loans are concerned, I was never actually worried. Because they're handled in such a way that you're not really going to notice. It's very fair and I really appreciate that. So overall, it was my excitement for independence, my want to further myself and to be independent and go out there into the big open world. That was what helped me go to university. That was what helped me overcome the fear of leaving home. And I really, really think that it would help you too. Thanks for watching.